Hey, Jeff with Christian. Here's where it all began. I lost my mom to cancer four and a half years ago. Ever since, it's been my mission to inspire and lead. It's Mother's Day, it's windy, it's wet, it's raining out. I had to just get out and say hello to her. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your morning fun. Boom! Good morning, good morning, Jeff Wicker Sham. Episode number 205. Today's topic is this, the 22nd rule. So I talked a little bit about that book I had just read this past weekend, The Happiness Advantage, and a great concept in there was this, this concept of the 22nd rule. And if you can, you know, if, if there's something you don't want to do, try and figure out a way to delay it by 20 seconds. And the author had a great example where he was coming home from work and he was tired and he would slouch on the couch and grab the remote and turn on the TV. And next thing you know, three hours later, he had lost all that time. So he thought of this 20 second rule. And I don't know where necessarily he got the concept from, but he said, if I can delay for 20 seconds, that desire will kind of go, go away. So he ended up taking the batteries out of his remote control and counting to 20 seconds as he walked throughout his house and hit those batteries. And what happened was next, the next day when he came home, he went to turn on the, the TV and it, it wouldn't work. He looked for batteries, he kind of searched, but, but he couldn't get there in 20 seconds and he ended up grabbing a book and starting to read and that, that habit just kind of continued on. So it's a, a great concept to think about, that 20 second rule. And it can work in, in the reverse. It, it can work for obviously things you don't want to do. Maybe it's you have to have snacks in your house for your kids, for their lunches, but you don't want to eat them. So figure out a way where you can put those in some boxes, wrap some tape on it, that when you have that urge or that craving, you have to actually, it takes you 20 seconds to get there and you might stop and choose a healthier alternative from, from a food perspective rather than the cupcakes or whatever your kids might, might eat. And then when you do their lunches, you won't have that craving hopefully and you can pack their lunches and then you know tape it back up. So it works for, for things you don't want to do and it works as I said on the, the flip side, the reverse side, on things that you want to do. So set yourself up for success. And I take people through this 10-week Morning Fire Academy program where I help them build their routines at night and in the morning based upon all the successes I've had to wake up with power, energy, enthusiasm, and an excitement on a daily basis. And I tell them it's, it's as simple as getting a glass of water in the morning. Right? And you're dehydrated overnight, depending on how many hours of sleep. You're always dehydrated when you wake up. And I coach them that that glass of water needs to be ready for you when you come downstairs. Or it needs to be up on your nightstand. And it needs to be room temperature. It needs to be available so you can grab it, drink it down, and be on your day. Because what happens is, very similar to the remote control story, that if you have to go to a cabinet to pick out a glass. There's one decision. How many seconds is that? Five, 10? Then you've got to walk over to you know, the, the refrigerator. Maybe you have to open up the refrigerator and you've got a Brita water cooler and you've got to pour it in there. I mean, that comes to, to over 20 seconds. So the odds are you might not do that on a daily basis because there's that 20 second rule in effect. So eliminate all those pieces and that those small little increments of time in the equation have that water ready you're going to go straight for it grab it drink it and you're going to hydrate and, and kick start your day and it's those little small details that if we tweak and we figure out can lead to tremendous success so think about in your daily routine if you need to stop something adding 20 seconds into the equation that makes it more difficult for you to perform what you don't want to do and on the flip side, if there's things that you really want to incorporate, good things that help you from a discipline, habit, routine perspective, make it easier for you to do those things. You do both of those and I guarantee you your, your, your daily routine and the success you're going to have is going to skyrocket. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you listening. Have a fantastic day. Rise, fight, love, repeat. Get after it and I'll talk to you soon.